Hi guys, Dave here with a new guitar lesson for you. Uh, this time we're going to look at the rhythm guitar part to Back in Love Again by LTD. Um, Got to be honest, it's not one I'd come across before. This was a request from one of my subscribers. So, But a lot of fun and a great little track. Okay, let's get on with it. So the main riff is in the key of E flat. And we're really thinking more kind of dominant seventh sort of tonality. So you could think of it as mixolydian if you like. But we're really thinking in, in terms of the chord. So the main um, little riff that happens is this. And it's all kind of centered around the chord tones. So the first thing is we're sliding from four to five on the D string. Then eight six on the G, and then five, and then eight on the D. So that's kind of pick, slide, down up, down, down, like that. Then it does that first bit again, and it just adds a note on the end, back to five on the G. So it's a two bar phrase. Um, so that happens three times. And then on the fourth time, does the first phrase again. And then it plays this E flat seven sharp nine, the Hendrix chord as it's commonly known. So that shape is seven B, six G, 5D and 6A. And the strumming is down, up, 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 down, down. Down, up, 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 down, down. Like that. And you'll notice I kind of relax the chord in between to get it nice and punchy. So that happens for the intro and the verse. Okay, for the chorus, we've got this little thing that happens three times. So it's basically part of a, an A-flat, like an A-flat triad, if you like. Um, that's going to be 9B, 8G, and 10D. And I hit those with two ups. Then I go down to a bar on the 8th fret, and that's on the... B, G, and D strings. And that gives us an E flat chord. That's also done with an upstroke. And then we get this little kind of dyad tri uh, power chord, if you like. And um, this is on fret 11 on the E and B strings, and I hit that with a down. So you get. And then for the fourth bar, we're going to bounce back and forth between a D flat and an A flat chord. So the D flat is just fret six on the B, G, and D strings. And then the A flat chord is four B, five G, and six D. So it's just going to go back and forth. So. And the strumming direction, just to get the rhythm right, is down, then I hit it on an up. Like that, you can see I do a kind of missed down on that. Then down again, and up again. And it's kind of the displaced kind of uh, dotted rhythm. And the last two are just both down, D flat and A.
Um, what you could do is put scratches in between them just to kind of get the rhythm to begin with. Like that, if that helps. And then once you're, you're kind of uh, more comfortable with it, then you can miss those scratches. Okay, so for the chorus, that happens twice through that whole four bar section. Okay, for the instrumental bridge section, um, again we're go, gonna go back to the chorus riff. So you get the first two bars like you do in the verse. Then you play the first bar again. And then on the fourth bar, you cut it off there. So I'll just play you the, the last bar. So that's slide in again, four to five on the D, eight, six on the G, then five on the G. And then we're gonna do this um, E flat nine voicing. So for that, a very useful, I, I use this on lots of things. Great if you wanna substitute for like a seventh chord or, or just a, Instead of doing that way of playing an, an E flat nine, a nice high voicing. So the voicing itself is 11 E, then eight on the B, 10 on the G, and then 11 on the D. And all we're gonna do is go down, up, down. So. Like that. And that'll get you through all the uh, all the kind of instrumental bit that happens in the middle and also it happens on the play out as well. Um, that's it really. I mean, there are some kind of other kind of um, endings, alternative endings that he does when he does the play out. Um, but I'll leave it at that just to kind of get you through. If you want all of the little variations, you can find the tabs via my Patreon page. So go do go and check it out. And uh, I'm sure you'll find lots of goodies there for to try to check out. <laughs> okay then, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and I will see you for one real soon.